Good morning, Lima Lime High School. This morning we will be talking about course selection for next year. At this point, your teachers have probably handed out to you the program of studies, your course selection worksheet, and the step-by-step -step instructions for completing the online registration. Your program of studies contains description of all of our courses as well as any prerequisites that might be necessary for the specific course. Your course selection worksheet is something you're going to use throughout this process. You will be indicating the various courses you're interested in taking next year on your course selection worksheet. Your teachers will be indicating their recommendation for your academic levels on your course selection worksheet as well as signing and or initialing it in the appropriate column. You will use your course selection worksheet as a guide as you complete the online registration through your PowerSchool account. I want to stress that I think it's important that you share your thoughts about your schedule with your parents. It's important for them to know you are taking the necessary courses to graduate from Lima Lime High School and to prepare you for your future post high school plans. The step-by-step -step instructions will literally walk you through the online registration process. This will be done on your PowerSchool account. I am confident that you will all be able to successfully complete this as each and every one of you completed this for this year's schedule. The 9th graders completed this with their parents and the 10th and 11th graders completed this with the school counselors during PE last year. The scheduling timeline begins right now. March 5th starts the beginning of the scheduling process with this advisory. Between this Wednesday and next Wednesday, March 12th, your teachers will have individual discussions with you about the courses for next year and the levels you should be taking those courses at. The online registration portal on PowerSchool will open on Monday, March 10th. It is important for you to know that you should not complete your online registration until you have had an individual conversation with each of your teachers as their recommendations are linked to this online registration. To help you, the school counselors will be offering online registration help in the Library Media Center on Monday, March 10th through Thursday the 13th. During periods 1 and 2 on March 10th, 3 and 4 on March 11th, 5 and 6 on March 12th, 7th and 8th period on March 13th, and on March 14th and going forward, students should make individual appointments with their school counselors if they need additional help. On March 28th, the online registration portal will close for all students. The expectation is that all students will have completed their registration by this date. We would also appreciate if you would turn your course selection worksheet into your homeroom teacher. Around, March around April 7th, you will receive a mailing that includes all the courses you requested online. It is extremely important that you pay attention to this mailing, that you look and to make sure that all the courses that are represented on that sheet are the courses you signed up for online or are the courses you intended to sign up for online. If you find a mistake, you need to bring your, that sheet to your school counselor and indicate the correct course on it. We will make those changes on our end on PowerSchool. April 7th also starts the beginning of the course override process. If you or your parents are questioning a course recommendation for next year, you will need to begin this process. The process includes your parents having contact with your current classroom teacher to discuss the advisability of your overriding up into the next level. If your parents decide after that conversation that they do want you to override to the next level, they will need to complete the paperwork which will be included in the April 7th mailing and or you can pick it up in the school counseling office. The deadline for all course override paperwork to be completed as well as the deadline for any changes to those requested courses must be done by April 25th. No changes to requests or to course overrides will be done after this date we need to begin planning the overall schedule after this time frame. 
Things you should keep in mind during scheduling are obviously your graduation requirements. You want to make sure that you are working towards completing all of these as you need 23 credits to graduate from Lime Old Lime High School. Students will also want to make sure that they are taking 6.5 credits each year as all Lime Old Lime High School students are required to take that. Pay attention to the fact that we have 8 period day so you can really only sign up for 8 credits worth of material. The online, during online registration, you will be able to sign up for after-school music ensembles such as chamber music and jazz ensemble. You do have the option of doing that. We would like you to take into consideration you have to take a math, a science, a social studies, and for many of you, you'll be continuing into a world language every year. We will automatically register you for PE and health, so you don't need to worry about that. And you really should consider the number of study halls to include in your schedule. Some students take eight straight classes and that works for them. Other students need to have a study hall each semester. We really need you to pay attention to how many study halls you would like to include in your schedule so that we can try to make sure that we're working on that when we get your schedules back in May. Juniors and seniors should really be thinking about their post high school plans. Obviously, you're going to continue challenging yourself at the highest level you can handle. If it's appropriate, you should be continuing in all the academic areas, including world language. Your schedule represents an opportunity to demonstrate your knowledge and skills in a certain discipline or your interest in a certain area. And for seniors, a rigorous senior year schedule is an important factor in the college acceptance process. Exploring your elective courses is another way to really give your schedule some diversity as well as give you an opportunity to participate in a class that you enjoy. You're, enjoy, you're exploring your interests. You enables you to demonstrate interest in a particular subject. It provides a balance to your day. Um, some courses are only open to specific grades, so please pay attention to that and please pay attention to the prerequisites that some elective courses may have. We also want to stress to you that during the online registration process, please provide alternatives on your Paraschool online registration as we may need other choices if your first choices do not work into your, your schedule. The Paraschool online registration is basically going to look like this. So each page has been customized for the grade that you're going to be going into. As you can see from this demonstration, the 10th graders are all already signed up for early United States history, civics and the law, and PE. For juniors, it will be just PE, and for seniors, it'll just be PE. In order to go to, to register for your various classes, you are going to use the pencil. When you click on the pencil, it will open up another screen which will give you your options for English, Math, Science, and World Language, and Social Studies for juniors and seniors. One thing that we wanted to make sure we were pointing out is when you're looking at your electives, it's alphabetically listed and there are numerous pages. So you're going to need to scroll through a few pages, possibly, before you get to the courses that you want to take. Once you have checked them off here, you'll be hitting OK at the bottom of the window. Again, I really want to stress that you should utilize the alternative section as it allows you to provide backup choices in case there is a conflict with your request within the schedule and you cannot get another course you requested. We ask students to select two to three alternatives. Really, by providing the alternatives, you're giving your counselor more information to make the best schedule for you that we can. Well, we're at the part that if your homeroom has a question, you can phone a school counselor. You can call Ms. Lenz at extension 1007. You can call Mrs. Rodriguez at extension 1009. And you can call Mrs. Williams at extension 1008. We will be there to take your calls. 
And lastly, what if you still have questions? If you still have questions, obviously we have the registration help during the 10th through the 13th, but more importantly, your school counselor is always available. Please make an appointment with your school counselor if you have any questions about the online registration process, about how to, um, what classes to take, what levels to take, just questions about what would look the best. Any questions you have, please contact your counselor. So again, I'm going to leave this little cute little icon up here, and it's time to phone a school counselor if you would like. Thanks.